So after last night where Pompey confirmed championship football and also confirmed the title of League One, I think it's about time we look back on the season and go through the top five games that defined our season. It's headed down by Yegri off the post and in! Starting off with number five, for me, the first game of the season was a vital one. Getting a good result against Bristol Rovers, or even though it's a one or draw, it also epitomised what this team was going to show throughout the rest of the season. The character to get themselves back in it so late on really helped us going forward. And that sort of character we've shown throughout the rest of the season has helped us get over the line in many different matches. And I think it was so important not to lose that first game of the season and help prepare us for the rest of the season. As Colby Bishop steps up, scores! Number four, then Port Vale away. Well, whilst on paper this wasn't the most important game, many Pompey fans will know how big it really was, as it sort of put an end to the January curse that is associated with the club now after many years of being top at Christmas and ending up either in the playoffs or in mid-table. Especially under Kenny Jackett, it happened far too often. So, for me, it was absolutely vital that we got these back-to-back -back wins. Even though we didn't win very well, it was quite an ugly performance. But again, this team showed that they were never never going to lie down. They were always going to keep fighting to the final whistle. And in this game, we did get our awards when Kamara was brought down. And a credit to Cole Bishop for stepping up after recently missing a penalty and not being in his finest form. And slotting it away to secure a huge three points. And, um, and it put us on this amazing unbeaten run. On to number three, which is Peterborough away. Now, this game was absolutely massive, as on this day, we played Peterborough on the same day that Derby played Bolton. Now, for us, this was a real tough test. Going away to a really top side with a weakened squad because we'd had Joe Rafferty and Pay Lane get ruled out through injury, well, no, through illness, just hours before kickoff. But the two players that came in really stepped up. Gavin White, who had a real tough time this season, came on, made the difference, got the assist, for the goal and Zach Swanson managed to keep one of the best wingers in the league at bay for 90 minutes and we got the clean sheet and then Gavin White played through Yankee got the goal and uh, that was a huge goal and one of the biggest goals of the season as it really put us one step closer and for me it put us one foot in the championship and obviously on that day Derby did beat Bolton so he went nine points clear of the automatic promotion spots with not many games remaining. Number two, Derby at home. This game was crucial not to lose. And, and again, the team showed the fighting spirit to come back from being behind twice in this game. And another thing that this game showed was Messino tends to get his substitutions right a lot of the time. How many times this time this season have we seen substitutions come on and make a difference? I mean, off the top of my head, I can think of Sadie against Oxford and obviously Moxon against Derby. What a goal this was. I'm sure... Like many others, I was thinking, don't shoot when he, when he lined that one up and it just arrowed into the top corner. A real average performance, but a, but a good result in that game meant that Derby didn't get any, any ground on us and we still kept our lead at the top of the table going in to not many games left. At the time, we only needed three wins and obviously Derby dropping points to Wickham meant that went down to two. Underneath it, it's headed into the net! But before we go into the number one spot, We've got some honourable mentions. Leighton Orient away, the first win of the season. A very convincing win and it really set us on the way for success. The two Bolton games, I mean, it was massive at the time to go six points clear at the top of the league. And uh, who knows what would happen if Bolton had won that game. They may have used that momentum to go above us as we had a real tough patch during January. And to be fair, they had a real tough patch at a similar time, so we always kept above them. But who knows, had they won this game, they may have managed to carry that momentum forward and go above us. And I sort of rolled two games into one here again with Carlisle and Wickham both pretty much carbon copies of one another. Two really late goals from Connor Shocknessy, a sight that we've seen so many times this season and we will mention again in just a moment. Charlie Pompey are heading for the championship! So on to number one there, the most defining game of the season and I don't think I need to explain this much. It is going to be Barnsley at home. The day it was confirmed, we were day that we confirmed championship football and that we were going to be champions of Skybet League One. And I say this game just epitomised what this squad was about. Battling back from behind twice, late goals. I mean, this team again never knows how to die. Even when we play poorly, we still fight right till the end. 
we keep ourselves in matches and a lot of the time we get a result at the end of it. But again, as we've seen so many times this season, a corner comes in and who else was going to be on the end of that corner other than Connor Shocknessy in the last few moments of the game to put us 3-2 up and to put us at the top of the league and uh, confirmed at the top of the league for the end of the season. I say, I mean, it was a fantastic night for everyone involved at the club. I mean, the fans were unbelievable for those last 15 minutes. And uh, I mean, I watched that Connor Shocknessy goal more time than I care to admit. As we look forward now to the championship, there will be needs to change, but let's not worry about that for now. As John Massino said, we've got 10 days now to enjoy this and uh, and go into the last two matches with a real party atmosphere. And I can't wait for us to lift the league title at Wigan on Saturday. Up high,